You're listening to the Abolitionist Roundtable. Patriotic Black American Conservatism with your hosts, Dell, Phil, and Janice. Leading the charge and advancing the 4%. Join in the conversation at 734-822-1600. And we are back. And I want to get to uh, uh, this question that I have for, for Bruce. Bruce, you still there? Hello? Yeah, still here. Okay. Still, still hanging. Uh, I got a chance to go grab, grab another cup of coffee during the break. In, in, <laughs> uh, in researching your book, uh, yeah. were you able to run across any... Uh, any evidence that there were uh, ancillary roots of funding for Planned Parenthood? Like, uh, we, we, we know that there was uh, some money funneled from uh, the State Department under, under Hillary, and maybe probably before, before Hillary got there, uh, of about $100 million. You uh-huh. know, that's, that's no sneezing money. That's a lot of money. Yeah, it's anti-histamine money, exactly as I call it. Nothing to sneeze at. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't really come across any any type of uh, you know funding from any any government agencies like the State Department, like what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. But I do know that uh, there was this big uh, this big flap with uh, with uh, Susan G. Komen uh, for the mm-hmm. cure. Yeah. Um, you know, they were they were donating money to Planned Parenthood, and uh, you know they they were not getting the uh, the desired effect, which was to actually help more women. Who were who needed uh, uh, who needed services uh, to, to deal with things like breast cancer, and uh, a, a book came out uh, about three years ago called Planned Bullyhood, yeah. and yeah, and uh, just uh, just reading that was absolutely fascinating. Uh, you had one woman who tried to go in there and help uh, help uh, straighten up the the finances and that sort of thing, and and get the money going to where to where it would have the best effect. But uh, you know they they came in and just uh, really slandered this slandered this this great lady Karen Handel, and you know what's really do, what's really disheartening about that is I found out that last year Coleman donated eight hundred thousand dollars to Planned Parenthood. Wow. You know, yeah, and and, and you know Coleman is supposed to be a uh, uh, an agency that or, or a, uh, a an organization that that helps women deal with uh, things like breast cancer, but when you look at at the one of the uh, one of the physical, really terrible physical effects of abortion, which is a, a clear link to breast cancer, um, you know, you, you got to wonder if these people at, at Komen are really thinking things through and who they should be supporting and who they should not should not be getting their money. Well, here's you know the reason why I asked you this question was because when you get down to it, right, uh, the Obama, you know, he's been the most oh, yeah. pro uh, abortion. President mm-hmm. we've ever had. Right. This is God, the God most bless Planned pro- Parenthood, like he said at their convention a year or so ago. Yeah. Now, here's the reason why I'm a little bit uh, in order. Uh, this is what I, I got from uh, looking up the Hyde Amendment, and mm-hmm. there's more information on it. But I just want to read this last part of it. Correct. Sure. In, in order to assuage opponents of abortion in his own party, President Obama signed an executive order stating that the Affordable Care Act, which could expand Medicaid to cover as many as 21.3 million mm-hmm. additional low-income Americans by 2022, yeah. would maintain current high amendment restrictions. I smell a rat. I, oh. think, that's a, I think that's a front to, mm-hmm. to, 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 to you know, divert our attention from other sources and or other trails of revenue that are coming to Planned Parenthood. Yeah, I, I think I think you're right, Phil. And and remember that one of the first things that Obama did when he took office was he rescinded the Mexico City policy. Yes, yes, right. Which uh, which as as, as, you, as you guys know uh, uh, is a provides a clear prohibition against uh, federal taxpayer funding for abortions that take place overseas, overseas including on military exactly. bases. Yeah. Well, right. in fact, the federal funding isn't supposed to be used towards abortions at all, but yeah. in uh, yeah. fact, it, when they give the money for the other services that Planned Parenthood may or may not provide, right. they're freeing mm-hmm. up the other monies for the abortion uh, and, aspects. And, ab- uh, you're absolutely and, and right. And they say, and, and, uh, they it, say it's been, yeah, and it's been pointed out that n- up to 94% of the uh, the money that Planned Parenthood receives uh, goes goes to abortion. Uh, this is indirect, yes. uh, which is you know completely uh, 180 degrees around what uh, from what 
Planned Parenthood itself is saying that only three percent of their of, of of the money that that they yeah, it's get the provides opposite. abortion. It's the yeah. exact yeah. opposite. And then they try to justify. They yeah. say, well, one third of it comes from fees for service. Yeah. Well, what yeah. fees for selling baby parts? Is that what they're talking <laughs> yes. about? Is that the service that they're yeah. talking about? Yeah. Well, they don't. Well, they don't do mammograms. They don't do uh, breast cancer exams. They don't do Pap smears. So, what do they do? Abortion. <laughs> they yeah, abortions. Babies. That's right. Three hundred twenty-five thousand <laughs> last in year parts. alone in their own clinics, Janice. Right. Some of the major donors are like Bill Gates. Mm-hmm. The yeah. Buffett Foundation, yeah. the Ford yeah. Foundation, and, and, the and, Turner Foundation, and the typical liberals could fund that themselves, and it shouldn't be no half a billion dollars coming from the federal government. Right. Yeah. I, think, I, don't, I don't know of a, I don't know of another private nonprofit organization that receives a dime from the federal government. You know, the NRA doesn't. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you know? And the thing about it is, what about all of these these uh, these family and these the family planning organizations that we deal with on almost uh, on a daily basis because yeah, you don't they are the right, ones on the front the line. Centers getting any money? Yeah, do the you? community centers. Yeah, right. They're on the front right. lines. Yeah. Right. They yep. are on the front line. Well, it, uh, it's typical leftist yeah. diversion, mm-hmm. deceit, mm-hmm. and disruption of our American heritage. It, yeah. it right, right. boils right down to the, the foundation of what this country stands for, the goodness. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and the left has just perverted our entire system. Yeah. Couldn't have said it better myself, Janice. Well, thank you, sir. Well, <laughs> Bruce, I certainly appreciate you getting up early with us, and we uh, we appreciate all the, the work right. that you're doing. And, uh well, I appreciate we you guys. You, uh, I, I, I love weekend. you all dearly. You're, you're some of the best friends a, a guy could have. And we'll see you next Saturday morning for, at 9 o'clock. At, at, at 9 o'clock, uh, yeah. I'll, on I'll, I'll Van Dyke, be, seeing, North- be seeing you a bit earlier than that, Jan. It's around uh, 8.30. 8.30, or so. absolutely. We'll be there, but, uh, yes, and, and uh, by the way, the meeting at Jimmy's, uh, which is supposed to take place at that time, uh, will not be will not be held. So, oh, okay. Uh, you know, so uh, this is uh, we we decided that uh, this is something that we we all need to get behind, and you know, it would be a great experience also for our uh, Tri County Liberty Coalition members to get out there, be be seen and be heard. Thank, speak loudly, again, speak proudly. Wake up, stand up, and speak out. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Bruce. Thanks, guys. God bless, and thank you for everything you do. All righty. Talk to you later. All right. Okay, bye, guys. And uh, this is uh, th- 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 this is uh, this Hyde Amendment is uh, what they done is they perverted the the uh, the intent of it, and by using his own words. I mean, you know, the guy says, "I, you know, I wish I could stop all abortions." And so what do they do? They turn around and say that this guy is some kind of zealot, some kind of a fanatic, because yeah. he doesn't want. Well, now you see the same thing with with uh with Me- Megan Kelly with Donald Trump. What she was saying is, you know, uh, there should be this exception, and uh, you you know you can't uh, you can't explain away uh, the 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 need of this exception for rape and for. Uh, incest. Oh yeah, that was her question to Scott Walker. Actually, she yeah. said, "You believe in abortions, mm-hmm. uh, or you believe in uh, preventing abortions forcing for a, everyone?" Forcing a woman to carry a, yeah. a baby from rape. Exactly, and even if it, it if a woman is going to die, you still think mm-hmm. that she should be prevented from having an abortion. Yeah. Uh, and I thought he answered that question very well. There's a lot of medical technology to keep a woman alive. You know, that's such a nebulous. I mean, I wonder if there's a percentage of how many women are about to die because they're going to give birth to a child. I, I, well, there, I, there's a, it, it's about a, a 3% for, uh, for that. Okay. Uh, for that and then uh, about uh, some, somewhere in that neighborhood for, for the other exception, for rape. You know, there, there, it's a you know, very low percentage of, of it. Yeah, and, I think it's less than 1% yeah. from the CDC now. Yeah. yeah. And so, but, but they 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 uh they put so much emphasis on the fact that that it's a woman's right and okay. if you infringe on that right you got to make this exception well you know what we, maybe we can deal with this exception but what about all of these late term babies exactly babies? you know i mean that those <laughs> those babies weren't because of rape or incest or the woman's going to die mm. right you know 
Come on, let's and, go here. And then we're finding out that the organization actually uh, you know, changes the, 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 uh, the position of the baby so they yeah. can get it yeah. out intact. Yeah. I mean, and use, we're talking and about use, ghoulish. And use sonograms yeah. to, to exactly. assist them in getting a better uh, angle so mm. they can do less damage yeah. to the uh This to, is ghoulish. To, to deliver the child. Right. Yeah. They, they're actually delivering children there. But... You, if you tell them that we would like for you to at least take a, 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 a sonogram to see what this baby looks like, see what this is that you're carrying, then these real zealots, these real extremists, these real yep. fanatics come out and say, well, you're going to force a woman to have in, uh, some machine looking up, you know, and, you know, wait a minute here. You know, you're talking about another being here. That's right. And uh, so, but but you can do all of these things uh, to 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 for profit to profit from, but you can't have this woman check and see. Well, this is this is what is in jeopardy here. This is what you're actually killing. And you know what? Let me tell you something. Margaret Sanger, I don't have them with me, but I'm gonna probably have them. Uh, I got them in my stack somewhere. But Margaret Sanger said that all, all uh, 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 birth control is, is, uh, is killing babies. That's what she said, Margaret Sanger. And the reason why she said that was because, you know, she was pushing birth control. Right. She wasn't pushing abortion. At that time, but that was her intent was abortion, but she knew that there was such a strong uh, uh, dislike of of the abortion procedure. I mean, because most people just say, "Wait a minute! I mean, you're not you're not going to abort this baby." I mean, they just did not believe in that. That's why she had to use such a subterfuge, such deception, yep. in order to get the because the people that she converted. To her, to her philosophy, like uh, Adam Clayton Powell's father in Harlem, he was definitely against abortion, and he was against birth control. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, he thought that that uh, he took it literally. Uh, you know, uh, seed to earth. You know, right. and he believed in that. But she was able to persuade him that it meant a better life for the young women if they were able to plan their children and uh, space their children and stuff like that. And he went for it.